All right, I'm Beth Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where my hair does whatever it wants, where Catalyst, where we are catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own, and we work at being the artist we've always wanted to be, or we work the work, or we be the bee, we do the thing. Behind me is Michelle Obama, my portrait of Michelle Obama, which I started to do not because I wanted all of a sudden out of the blue want to start doing celebrity portraiture because it doesn't interest me at all. Uh, celebrity portrait artists are a dime a dozen. Uh, um, but I did pick this up. Um, I did decide to do this because of Sharon Sprung's portrait of Michelle Obama. Uh, Sharon Sprung did the official White House portrait of Michelle Obama and I'm so over the top irritated and angry with it because it is so deathly amateurish and looks like it was thrown together at the last minute, even though she says she spent nine months working on it. None of it shows, absolutely none of it shows. It looks like something I would have done at middle school at the last minute before a project, before the project was due. And this thing is gonna be hanging in the White House now. And I'll tell you, I can, t I can tell that she knows it's not good. I've seen several interviews with her now where she's kind of like, well, Michelle seemed to it like it. I guess she did. I can tell by the way she's holding herself and the choice of her words, she's not at all proud. So um, other than she got everybody doing this at the unveiling, she's not, you can tell, she's not proud of her finished product. But I'm not going to go ahead and criticize her without saying, um, not necessarily that I can do it better, but that I, that I attempted. And so that's what we're doing here is attempting. Again, not particularly happy with her. I can see, especially in this mirror image that I have with the camera, what's wrong. This needs to be darkened. This line that I put in yesterday needs to be darkened. There, her chest area is, is a bit of a problem. And I can see uh, the disproportionate, the, the bits that are disproportionate. Her head is quite large, um, but I also was taking into consideration when I was laying her out that she would be hanging up on a wall. We would not be looking at her straight on. So I took that into consideration and left the, the head a little bit larger than the body because when it's up, like, like the statue David, uh, when it's up, when it's hung properly, the head is going to look more in proportion. And I also shrunk her hands just a tiny bit. I don't know why, but I felt the need to just keep keep her hands just slightly smaller. They are significant. You can feel their power on their own. But uh, in this instance, I was like, mm, I think, I don't know. I wanted to do a thing that I can't quite articulate. So we have problem area here in the chest and a little bit in the arms. It's mainly this one, this top canvas that I'm having issue with. Michelle is a very strong, lean, sinewy figure. She's muscular. She's extremely muscular. But a couple of days ago, I had accentuated her, her muscular chest. You can literally see every tendon, every muscle in her chest, every bone. It is phenomenal. It's gorgeous. But as a painting, not so much. When I had done it a couple days ago and she was very muscular and toned, your focus went on her. Ugh. And uh, I want to soften her for several different reasons. I want to I want to be able to soften her just a bit, but also give the indication um, that she is a toned woman and she don't take no shit. I love Michelle. I love this. But also looking in the um, looking in the iPad and seeing the reverse image, I can see where her mouth was dropped just a tad too low, at least according to the camera. When I turn around and look, it's in the correct, in almost the correct position. So there's several different issues, but this is where we are. And I'm gonna take her and put her to the side turn the canvases around, put them in the dry, my bedroom, the drying room, and the storage room, um, and not look at them for a couple days. So when I pull them out, I'm seeing everything with fresh eyes, and I can tackle her once again. 
I really have been working on her almost every day for a week. And I, it, you know, you get to a point where your brain is overworked and focused on things that just don't matter. So it's time to give her a little bit of a break and move on to something else. And that's it. I just wanted to show you that thing. And there was something else I was going to talk about, but I don't remember. Oh. Hmm. No, maybe we'll save that for another time. Anyway, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, keep my little train of moving. All the links are down below, and there's also links to uh, the gallery. So if you're interested in work and you want pricing and other info, you can get a hold of Jay at Blue Egg Gallery, uh, Andrew and Mark at Chasing Galleries, and Raphael Coelho at Art Front Galleries, and all their information is down below. But like I said, you can also donate. Um, you can help support through Patreon, where I barely ever talk to anybody, and I don't mean to be rude. I appreciate the support, but I'm not that communicative, and I apologize. But Patreon, where you can supply monthly support. There's also Cash App, PayPal, TeePublic. There's a number of different ways. They're all down below. All right, that's it. Ready, Carrie? Here we go. And Carrie, I hope you're okay. I haven't heard from you in forever in a day, my friend. Right. Ciao. Ciao. Meow, meow. Boink.